Listen to me. Li uh, listen. Oh, stop crying. You are 40 years old. It takes hours to die from a gut shot like that. Literally, hours. It's a total drag. So I'll call you later, okay? Okay, ciao, ciao. Ugh, new recruits. No stomach for field work. Solid results out there. Not the results we were expecting, but we have entire departments all about adjusting expectations. Heads will roll, whatever. What's buried beneath that rock stays buried. No shit, it's a cosmic big deal, but forget all about it. Or you'll follow Beaumont into a secure treatment ward at Arkham State Hospital. And we don't go to Arkham. Super unsanitary. As for the one that got away, she won't get away far. We've got our best recruiters reaching out to her. The magic sword is a nice to have, but opportunism like that is priceless. And if little Cassandra doesn't play ball, we'll put her through questions and answers to figure out the whole morning light angle. It's a win-win. At least we've kept the factional status reasonably quo, although I'm a little curious about what the Orochi group is playing at. We do have strict non-compete spells in place, a lot of red tape and chilling effects, but I wouldn't put it past them to go behind our backs. Just like we're going behind theirs. Oh, you're an accessory now, incidentally. Executive summary? You did good work out there. High five. Really? Do you know what that means? No, you don't. You have absolutely no idea what that means. Today we'll be doing questions, but we will skip the answers. We know the answers. Miss Geary already debriefed you. There is no need for repetition. How would you rate your performance? Don't answer that. Didn't I tell you? We already know. Bottom line, you failed. Lucky for you, so did everyone else, which makes it hard to establish a cutoff point. Geary's job is to make you feel special, to make you deliver. Ours is to simply evaluate. We look at facts. The facts concern us. Your loyalty concerns us. We have questions, but your answers are irrelevant. Frankly, actions speak louder than words. The sword isn't the only relic of note to go off the radar lately. It's an epidemic. Occult weapons, ancient technology, dangerous artifacts, an alarming amount of it ending up in the wrong hands, i.e. not ours. The Phoenicians are involved. Also, these people. No one quite knows what to make of them. We're filing it under TBD. And then there's the Arachi group. We know exactly what to make of the Arachi group. They may appear to be on our side, but they are not. They are dangerous, they have ambitions. And like us, they have eyes and ears everywhere. Everywhere. I'm gonna tell you exactly what that means. It means we're paying attention, all the time, to you, to everyone else. Q&A isn't just me, it isn't even us. It's all of you. Vigilance is important. If you want to avoid seeing this room again, you will learn to be vigilant. This went well. Have you tried turning it off and on? No? Then please kill yourself. Yo, I'm the sysadmin. I've been tracking you since that unauthorized email access. Strike one. Is the agent dead? Out there, I mean. In the system, his mistakes will live forever, like stains under blacklight, dirty digital fingerprints all across the world. Seriously, do these people even understand how technology works? Everything is recorded, nothing is deniable. We know your entire life story. It's chill, though. My job isn't in the details. Your weird-ass preoccupations are totally your own thing. Can you not try to make eye contact? I also do numbers, data. I ran all those shipping numbers you saw, which FYI takes longer than it does in the movies. Yeah, Egypt. I bet you twigged when you got jacked by mummies. Gold star. But check out all this activity in and out of the desert. Let's say half of them are dummy shipments to throw off anyone with too much time and satellite access. That still leaves a lot. 
And what's weird is that this Egyptian mafia of the kingdom are super anal about export control, as our rogue trader found out. Do you still have his chip? No shit. Well, I know where Geary's sending you next. In summary, plenty of room for improvement. Now, it's time for you to leave and time for me to chat with one of our rising stars. Ciao, ciao. Hmm. Well, I don't expect to see him again. We're making a few cuts. Exciting news! You're going to Egypt. Well, exciting if you're into all beach and no sea. I prefer the Mojave. Hmm, the smell of the firing range, peyote, shallow graves. But enough about my childhood. Africa hasn't been a key action area for us since the 14th century BC. Now our sources say something big is going down in the desert. A real game changer. New England is so last week. The catch is that we'll have to work with Venice. The council used to run the show, back when the Earth was flat and the sun revolved around Europe. These days they're all about being neutral observers, getting in the way of a good old-fashioned honor system. But, until we find a way to speed up their slow descent into the ocean, it pays to use and abuse them. We scratch their back, they crack down harder on the Templars. It's a public service. The modern world is so over, big swords and bad teeth. Hook up with the Venice Envoy. Make nice. Find out what they know. If you have to make a mess, make sure you don't spill any on the Orochi group. They've been making a lot of noise about New England. And word is that their Egyptian operation has been compromised. They're likely to pin it on us if push comes to shove. I tell Orochi to go fuck themselves, but you know how it goes. They're the world's biggest transmedia conglomerate. Setting up a video conference regarding self-fucking would take forever. Ah, time for my next o'clock. Don't worry, you're not on my cut list. Yet. Ciao, ciao.